Hello and welcome to Encore's Time Master version 2.4 update. Okay, the major update for 2.4 is the QuickBooks export module, but we'll show that in a separate video. Okay, on to the new features for 2.4. For existing old time entries, we've had the ability to copy and start timers, and we've added a new one by request. So we have copy with duration now and that does exactly that. It copies the entire time entry including the duration but does not start the timer. That's useful if you have a repetitive task that you do uh, once a day or once a week or something like that. Um, we've also renamed our old copy to copy and start and that cop zeroes the duration and starts the timer. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to discuss is the update to the taxes. We've fixed this so that it can now do three decimal places. So let's say that you are in uh, San Antonio, Texas, and your tax rate, I believe, is eight and an eighth. So we enter that here. And you can see we also round off any trailing zeros just to keep things nice and neat so it doesn't look weird if you just have a single digit tax. Okay, and the next thing is for the optional invoice module. We've added a pay optional PayPal button. And if you leave the PayPal email blank, it won't put anything in there. Uh, let's just say for this example that we're going to put in info on core.com as an example. And you put your PayPal currency that you want to collect in, defaults US dollars. Okay, we'll go to the modules now, and let's say we're going to email an invoice, and we'll, oops, I wanted to preview it, here we go, preview, okay, and now you can see on the very bottom here, we have a now accepting PayPal button. When they receive this in the email, if they click on the button on the PDF, it will fire up a web browser and it will load in the uh, subtotal, any tax, and, and give an invoice total amount. So it will be an easy way for uh, your customers who pay with PayPal to pay. So that wraps up the updates for version 2.4. Thanks for watching.